They said yes. What's yes? Simple. Ne. Ne. And please give me cock. Oh, please give me cock. I want a cock. Please give me cock. Cock. Cola. Please give me. What's please give me? Good. Hey everybody, Roger here. I want to talk to you guys today about God, this very annoying thing. Um, and I call it annoying because it doesn't seem like there's any sort of there's no there's not many people looking at the obvious answers for a result. I'm talking about this red for ed, red for ed, red for ed thing. You know, initially I thought it was just some sort of a pre you know, pre-midterm campaign thing. I didn't really look into it. I was kind of busy with the whole Kilroy thing, and then I started seeing this pop up all over Scottsdale. And I'm like, okay, what's going on here? So, Red for Ed is aiming to increase teacher salaries. I think uh, there's supposed to be some like a four, 10 year plan or something for teacher salaries to go up. Something like that, I, I, I don't know. Didn't really look too deep into that, but what I did look pretty deep into was um, what happens at the individual school level. Why is it that teachers are demanding these type of salary increases? And um, and I will say I do have a soft spot for teachers. I do have a soft spot for education. Uh, my older sister is in the in the she works for a school district. I won't say where, um, but uh, you know. So I understand the plights and the issues and the fact that you know sometimes she has to have a. You know, I, I don't think she does this anymore, but she used to have a second job at, you know, at times. So anyways, going on with this. Um, I think the biggest issue here is this. Everybody wants to have teachers get more pay. Everybody wants to have more money going into school funding to make everything better. Um, problem is, refugees and illegal immigrants require LEP services. Um, and and, and uh, that's limited English proficiency LEP and that costs taxpayers around 60 billion a year I think you know where I'm going with this so that costs taxpayers 60 billion a year 98% of that is state tax oh here here we go here's a red for ed people right here you'll probably see them in the mirror there in the back um, so <laughs> so then if it's if, if that's at the tax the state level understand this also the lower, the lower borders, uh, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, California, they're the ones that have, I think, a little bit more of the cost than everybody. So, fiscally, this packs the border states more. And, and now, look, we're also in I'm, in, I'm in Phoenix, and it impacts Phoenix quite a bit. It impacts urban areas a lot. So, you know, I... I I think what, what needs to really happen here is people need to open their eyes to the fact that uh, illegal immigration, uh, the refugee crisis, the refugee, um, uh, which, is, which has gone down uh, a little bit under the Trump era, uh, is a main culprit here. You know, the, uh, during, during Obama's reign, LEP students accounted for one in every 10 students. One in every 10 students. Think about that for a minute. One in every 10 students that that accounted for. And the Department of Education believes that 83 to 85,000 LEP teachers would be needed by 2018. That was back in 2013. I'm not sure what that figure is now, but that's 83,000 teachers devoted, devoted, devoted to teaching people who otherworldly, for the most part, come in illegally, without merit, or as a refugee. Again, I think you see where I'm going with this. In 2013 alone, around 35, 350,000 uh, LEP teachers made up 33% of all teachers' salaries, not counting benefits. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's play with that figure a little bit. That's 33% of all teachers. LEP, LEP teachers made up 33% of all teachers' salaries. Where could this money go right now? Could this ed for red for ed thing be a, a, a really big deal or uh, do we already have the answer that we need at this point? Let's go on. School budget shrinking since 2008 with 8% of, of uh, 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 funding being federal. So the school salaries since 2008 um, have just been shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and going down. 
Now, what that also means is that your, you know, your the quality of the meals are shitty, are shittier and shittier and shittier. The quality of the schools are shittier and shittier and shittier. Meanwhile, you have to focus on the security of the schools, which has to go up. Uh, older textbooks, for the most part, on some of these students, uh, uh, for some of these students' curriculum. Um, uh, the upgrades and the upkeep of the campuses. I mean, I'm crossing by a school right now, and it's uh, it doesn't look all that bad. But I am in Scottsdale, so um, so yeah. I mean, uh, with the, with the budget shrinking, not a lot is going to go back into the teacher salary. It's going to go into certain certain other things. But they're still going to be cutting corners with every shrinking salary. Your 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 kids' foods are going to get shittier. They're going to get more G, they're going to get more GMOified. They're going to have all this shit happen to them. Um, they're not going to learn right. The classrooms are going to be more flooded. Again, illegal immigration is not the answer, people. Refugees and illegal immigrants require LEP services, obviously. How does that not impact other students? Tell me where you can see the cuts now, where, the, where you feel that the cuts need to be coming from. Cities like Chicago end up laying off teachers because of budget cuts, uh, limited resources, increased, increased class sizes, and look at what that's doing to all of the students there. You know, it's, it's not doing anything beneficial. The community see their taxes uh, increase to foot the bill. Now again, federally, I, I, I think federally it's like 8% go, uh, goes back into um, uh, all 50 states. And 98 to 99% of these funds come directly from the state and communities. So you can see whose pockets are gonna be digging into, we just got tax you know, tax deductions, you know, I'm seeing the benefits of it. Now, if this fucking thing passes, I probably won't. It's probably going to be all for nothing, a couple of months of nothing. And even then, everybody's increasing prices of everything, so it doesn't even seem like I got anything. You can count out upgrading schools, older textbooks, larger classrooms, you can count, you can count in shittier lunches, uh, which is bad for your health. Uh, and then now, modular, I mean, we have these modular, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my camera ready because I want to record this Ed for Ed thing on the second camera here. Um, but uh, modular, modular buildings. I mean, we can afford modular buildings for all these extra classes that we have. No. Oh, there we go. There's some Ed for Eds, whatever they are. There they are. They don't know what the hell they're doing. There's more here. So anyways, this, this Ed for Ed, or Ed, Red for Ed thing, um, you guys, you guys have an obvious budget cut that you can be, um, focused on, but you're not. You're, um, this is actually a less turnout than yesterday. Um, you guys actually could be focusing on curbing illegal immigration, follow Trump's plan. Um, you, we can't be, we're a very generous country. We keep giving everybody all these things every single day uh, uh, you know the I'm sorry I'm recording all these people you know that that more and more funding goes into people that don't know English so that's that's a huge especially if they're coming in from the country from like eighth as as eighth graders or something is it really gonna they're gonna take four years to learn English and then contribute to American society no I, I think they're gonna be taking over a lot of our low-wage jobs uh, making the plight of the poor, uh, the urban areas, uh, more or less, uh, and everywhere it's going to grow, uh, worse for people, Americans to get off their feet, especially black Americans, uh, young black men, uh, young, uh, Hispanic men and women. It makes absolutely no sense. So you guys, you guys want these teacher salaries to increase. You got to pull from somewhere. Don't be pulling from us taxpayers. You guys want to increase the taxes for, for uh, people like me so they can accommodate your salaries for the choices that your schools have made, um, for the choices that you believe in. I think the majority of teachers, I uh, could be wrong, it's just a figure in my head because of the way teachers act these days for the most part. Um, teachers are mostly liberal, left-leaning, so they're going to be more um, uh, catering to uh, uh, allowing illegal immigrants in, allowing refugees in. Do you not know that that's costing you your salary? Do you not know that? Do you not know that that 
billion can go back into your pockets if you, if you could just let America go back to the way that it needs to be. People come here legally. We remove people who are illegal, for the most part. Uh, people who have contributed to society can potentially stay, obviously. I think the answer is simple here. You really don't know where the money is coming from, do you? You're just fighting this blindly. You're fighting this blindly. So anyways, those are my thoughts on this uh, whole Ed for Red, Red for Ed, whatever thing. And um, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think that uh, the biggest budget cuts could be what I stated? You know, coming from uh, just not allowing illegal immigrants to come and take part in our state, mostly state-funded, community-funded education system? Or do you think that that's too harsh and we should all put in more taxes to fund this nonsense? Uh, let me know your thoughts. And, 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 if, well, and if the answer is yes on that, if the answer is that you do want to have more funding coming from us taxpayers, why? What do you think illegal immigrants coming in, taking advantage of the system, can contribute back into society? How do you think that could pay us back tenfold? as America to be prosperous. Appreciate your answers below. You like, hate, subscribe. Um, I always love that conversation. I guess we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm. Sometimes I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin.